Folks, today I'm going to show you a technique that I use to uh, secure my surface and protect my surface of a mixed media piece of artwork uh, where I've primarily used oil pastels, oil bars, uh, grease pencils on top of a dry, maybe acrylic paint layer, which is deep underneath here. And, uh, what I do when I reach a phase where I'm close to 80% done, 80-90% uh, done, this I will layer, I will glaze, and I will do it in a fixative that's quite uh, excellent to use. It's produced by Senelier. It's particularly used for oil pastels, and it creates a very nice hard surface. It uh, is very protective, and the reason being is uh, oil bars and oil pastels never really dry like, say, an oil paint or an acrylic paint. There'll be a bit of a, there'll be a hard shell, but that shell on top of it will be fragile, and you could possibly scratch it with a fingernail, or if you're moving it around your house. Um, the Next phase on this, once I apply this layer, I will work on it to finish. Once I get the piece finished, I will give it a final coat of this uh, fixative. And once I give it that final coat, that dries, I will apply a cold wax uh, treatment. The cold wax I'll put on, it's, uh, it comes in a jar or can, and no, it actually comes in cans and it's made by Gamblin. Uh, the cold wax I'll put on, you scoop it out with my fingers, rub it in like a, like a butcher's wax on furniture or a floor, bowling alley wax. And uh, once that dries, I burnish the cold wax to the finish I want and the toning I want with a nice clean t-shirt, soft t-shirt. Uh, or soft kind of cotton that won't scratch that final finish. So to uh, show you what I do here next, when you're using these sprays, they're quite volatile, pretty toxic. You want to wear a mask, so I use these old COVID masks. And what I do is you want to shake your can very well and you want to apply a very light uh, coating every time you spray on top of here. That light coating, you will probably, I pr apply it in four different directions. So I'll keep rotating the canvas so I get even coverage. And I'll stand back about a foot, foot and a half away and just go over the surface. And I'll try to use circular motion And that's how you apply it. And then when I get done with that layer of spraying, you want to hold the can upside down like this, and then hit the spray till you stop getting spray to come out because that cleans the nozzle and uh, protects the ability for it to spray. If that nozzle ever gets clogged up, you can uh, soak it in warm water with uh, dishwashing detergent and vinegar. And I've had good luck opening that back up. So what I'll do now is just turn this another orientation. And then I'll do this four to five light coatings and I'll spray it again. And uh, I hope this was a helpful tip. And you definitely want to come back when I do the uh, cold wax treatment and this piece is actually finished because uh, I'm excited by how it's going to look. Okay, take care.